Did you know there's a YouTube channel earning between $100 and $200 daily just by uploading short videos? Their top video has 27 million views, and they have tons of other videos with 10 million, 11 million, and even 8 million views. And all they're doing is posting short clips from popular podcasts, adding captions, and making a few edits. Just like that, they're earning thousands of dollars on YouTube shorts. There are actually several channels doing this, and they're incredibly simple to set up. For example, one channel uploads clips from Joe Rogan's podcast, adds captions, and hits upload. They get tons of likes, comments, and millions of views on nearly every video. And here's the amazing part. These videos don't get copyright strikes. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a podcast clip channel with this using a single AI tool called Nexus Clip. Best of all, you can use this tool for free. Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make high engagement, high earning shorts without breaking the bank. Here's what the Nexus Clip interface looks like. Clean, simple, and designed to make creating viral podcast clips easy. You can scroll down to explore its features, but let's get started by clicking sign in with Google. To log in, that with Nexus Clip, you can even connect your YouTube channel directly. If you're just getting started, do not worry. In my last video, I showed exactly how to connect your YouTube channel and create shorts that can boost your views. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Now let's get started with creating a podcast clip. First, head over to YouTube and find the podcast you want to use. Joe Rogan's, for example. Search for the video you want, download it to your device, and then open up Nexus Clip. In Nexus Clip, click on Edit a Clip. Just drag and drop your downloaded video right here. If you have a Twitch account, you can also search for podcasts on Twitch. Find the video, copy its link, and paste it here to create a short clip. Then you can paste the link. Then, I want to upload the video, so I uploaded the video. Keep in mind though that clips on Nexus Clip can't be longer than 2 minutes. So make sure your video is 2 minutes or less before uploading. Once your video is uploaded, you'll see this interface. Here you can view your video with a live preview on the side. Nexus Clip has an amazing feature that automatically detects faces, making it easy to add eye-catching hooks. To set up your hook, click on the hook section on the right. This lets you add a text hook, a quick caption that tells viewers what the video is about and grabs their attention. A strong hook can keep viewers engaged all the way to the end. You can customize your hook with different colors, fonts, and styles choosing from a variety of options to match your video's vibe. Once you're happy with it, simply adjust the placement of the text on the screen. If you decide not to use a hook, you can easily toggle it off with one button. To make your video even more engaging, I recommend keeping the hook turned on. Next, let's add a sticker. Here you can place your channel logo on the clip. Just scroll down to find your channel's logo, customize it if you'd like, and position it in your short. If you decide not to include it, simply toggle the logo off. Now, let's talk about subtitles. All viral videos on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram have subtitles because they make videos more engaging and accessible. You can easily add subtitles here in Nexus Clip by scrolling through the different styles and choosing one that matches your video's theme. Subtitles help viewers stay engaged and ensure they follow along, even if they're watching without sound. I selected a subtitle effect, and on the right side of the screen, you'll see customization options. You can adjust the subtitle color, add a background color, and even change the font to match your video's style. Once you're happy with how it looks, your video is fully customized. If you want to make any last-minute adjustments to colors, fonts, or text, all those options are right at the top. Next, let's set up your video's framing. Go back to the main interface and scroll to the framing option at the bottom. Here, you can choose the screen size, whether full screen or vertical. If there are two people in your video, you can even select a split frame to highlight both of them. If your video has four people, select the template designed for multiple faces, and the tool will automatically frame each person. You can see a preview of how the clip looks on the right side. For my video, I only have two people, so I chose the two-person full-screen layout. Nexus Clip automatically detects faces and fits them perfectly within the frame. Now that our video is fully set up, let's preview the final result. If everything looks good, it's time to download and export. 
you can choose to upload directly to TikTok or YouTube. You'll just need to the download the video and upload it manually. Simply click share in the top corner, hit download, and your video is ready to go. Once your video is downloaded, you can easily upload it to YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Clip takes it a step further. It automatically generates a title, description, and hashtags for you, so you don't have to worry about writing them yourself. To upload to YouTube Shorts, simply click on YouTube Shorts and hit Publish. If you want to upload to TikTok, just connect your TikTok channel and you can post your podcast clip directly from there. I've already covered this AI tool in more detail in the last video, which you can find linked in the description. See you in the next video.